Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. This is Jay. Today, we're going to be working actually around the farm. So, we're going to go out and do any jobs or anything like that, but we're going to do a few things around the farm here. One of which is kind of an odd little project, but it's something that we try to do every once in a while. Uh, all part of keeping up on things around here, so stay tuned. So, this little project is going to involve a chainsaw, some bar oil, and a little toolkit. We're also going to need the gator. And apparently we're going to need Annie. All right, so today's project is something that we don't get to do very often. Usually once every other year, every couple of years, seems like is, is all the time we get to get to it. Um, but it's something that's kind of important to us uh, here, living out here on the farm and just trying to keep up on some of the maintenance involved with, with living on, on some property. One of which is uh, log jam. So we've got a small creek that runs through the farm and it's uh, the small Kickapoo is what they call it. It's not a real big creek, but it does flow pretty much year round. And uh, it, it's, it's, we've, as kids growing up, we had a ton of fun in this creek and, you know, we continue to use it with the animals and the kids like to go swimming in it, of course. One thing that we try to keep up on though is log jams and it, it's inevitable. They're going to happen regardless. However, we've noticed that over the years, if we can try to keep those cut out as much as possible, that prevents future log jams and future washouts for the creek and everything. So, um, as you can imagine, you know, you, ha you have a tree fall down in an area like this, water starts to get diverted into another area, starts washing out different sections of the creek and causing more log jams and more problems. So in an ideal world, the creek really doesn't change paths a whole bunch. We keep it clear and, you know, stays open. It's easier, easier for water to flow through. Realistically, we don't get to every single log jam every single year. We have tried to keep up on it as much as we can, but the key is what we do is we start as far downstream on the property and work our way upstream and then so that way anything that we cut upstream has a place to flow out next time it floods. So usually in the springtime, we'll get a good flood or two. If we chop up all these log jams, they'll wash through um, and then they'll, they'll, you know, they'll be in small enough pieces where they make their way through any other, any other problems down the road. So that's just something that we try to do and that's what we're gonna be working on today. So stick around. Didn't really explain the reason we're doing this now and we only get to do it every couple of years. We've had a cold spell here in our area for about the last two weeks or so and it's, it's been really really cold and that creek's had a chance to freeze over and now it's safe for us to get out and walk it. Honestly the creek's pretty shallow in most places. You know if there's a spot that's four to five feet deep I would I would be surprised. It's, it's not necessarily that it's an unsafe situation doing it when there's when it's not frozen. It's just Obviously, we don't want to get wet this time of year if possible. So right now we can get out and walk that whole entire creek and get out there and cut those log jams apart. So that's why we're doing it this time of year. You can do it in the summertime. Summertime's fine too. You just usually you're getting wet at some point. So that's why we try to do it in the winter time. Oh boy, we're stuck. Given that we're working on ice, I got my trusty yak tracks on, so those should stay on for a good five or ten minutes before they fall off and I lose them. 
I get to use the uh, 441 brand new chainsaw. We actually had another one, used it for about three different cuts and stopped working. It turns out it had a manufacturer defect in the ignition system of it. So they sent us a new one and here it is. Hopefully this one works. All right, well, as I suspected, I didn't even make it to the first log jam and they fell off. So let's go back. So here's the name of the game. This is the kind of stuff that we're dealing with. What we'll do is we'll just get in there and try to start bucking up as much of this stuff as we possibly can into maybe six or seven foot pieces just so it can flush through. And in something like this, this is a pretty big log jam. This one may not get completely cleared out the very first year or the first flood, uh, but you know, over time, it'll open up a little bit more. We can work it again, open a little bit more, work it again, and hopefully at some point it's completely cleared through. So that's the plan. We'll get started. <laughs> First one is done. This one, this one was actually a pretty decent sized jam. So we got probably 90% or so bucked up, and uh, I would I would suspect that a big portion of this would would wash through within the first flood or two. So that's the idea. You know, when we get done or when it's done floating, flooding, uh, I'd imagine there's still probably going to be a log or two in there, but. At least we get the bulk of it knocked out and washed out of there and then we'll go back at some other point and finish it up so that was that fell through a couple times you can see right there I'm, my boots are full of water but that's all right as soon as the water warms up it's really not too cold moving out i was just thinking this 441 is doing a really nice job cutting it's got a good chain on it but i looked down and i don't know if you can see that green link stupid semi chisel chain on it even for a semi chisel chain, it's still cutting pretty good, but I'm a big fan of the full chisel. Cut a lot faster, and I just not a big fan of the semi chisel, but that's what we got, so we're gonna work with it. Here we are. This tree is gonna be a little tricky as well. So, one that's completely suspended across the creek here, and it's got a couple smaller ones down there. We might go cut those up first just to get them out of the way, but really the idea here is to just We'll probably have to climb out on that and just limit basically one at a time, let the limbs fall off, and we'll just keep working our way back. I don't know, we might cut this one into two or three pieces, just just the main big portion, and then what's still on the bank, we'll probably just have to drag off or cut at a later time. So we'll get started. Ain't gonna cut itself. <laughs> Mmm. -hmm. 
so I got the chainsaw pinch down there and uh, I'm not really not surprised this uh, tree was quite a bit bigger than size bar that I had on that chainsaw and obviously nothing is really ideal here so Taking a break from the 441, I'm gonna break out the old 361. It's my favorite chainsaw. Full chisel chain, nice lightweight, easy to easy to climb around trees. Seems like that's what we're doing. So uh, it's getting pretty close to I think quitting time. So we just kind of regrouped with everybody here minute ago we're gonna work for about another half hour 45 minutes and call it good so hopefully we can get another couple log jams cut out these uh these ones we've been taking on have been pretty pretty uh big so they're taking some time and taking some energy but you know what we're getting them we're getting them knocked out <laughs> I think that's all she wrote for today so put a good couple few hours at this turned out good uh, we've got I don't know maybe a half dozen good log jams cut up or so this is probably the worst section of our whole entire run of the creek just because we've never touched this area before a lot of the stuff we have upstream is gonna be a lot easier than this so most of this should wash through and like I said as we start working on this you know there might be one or two more logs in here next year and 
it'll be a lot easier to get up and cut those out so it's a work in progress but definitely something we make sure we try to get done as much as we can so i think that's it for now we'll go home clean up the saws check everything out make sure we didn't break anything and call it a day enjoy the rest of our weekend so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Thank <laughs> you.